Okay, so we're going to talk about Bode plots, which are frequency response plots. So basically what we have is we have our gain A, which is equal to V out as a function of frequency over V in as a function of frequency. And we're just going to do a magnitude plot. Okay, now the other thing that we're going to do is we're going to do it in decibels. So A of db is going to be defined as 20 log 10 of a. And so what we want to do is we want to take our transfer function, which is our v out over our v in, and put them in the form of terms that are 1 plus jf over f1 or 1 plus f so in this case here you see the f is on top and in this case here the f is on the bottom now first of all we want to see what these look like and so what we do is we take this in and we want to do magnitude you see so this is going to be 1 plus f over f1 squared square root and this one is going to be 1 plus f1 over f squared square root. Okay so in these two cases let's look at the uh, asymptotes as, as frequency is really small or really high. So let's go frequency low. Okay so we plug in f equal to 0 and so if I plug in f is equal to 0, you see this is going to be 1 plus but this term here is small. So we just get 1. Okay. Now over here we have In this case, the f is on the bottom, and f is bit, f is really small, so this whole term is really large. Okay, and if that whole term is really large, then the one is negligible, and so then we get f one over f. Okay, now when f is large, we get the exact opposite. So now we have 1 over f over f1. And so now this is going to be large. So this whole term goes to f over f1. And in this case, I have 1 plus f1 over f. And we see that since the f is on the bottom and it is large, this whole thing gets small. And so then this goes to 1. So we can kind of see that we have these different cases. Now what we want to do is we want to find out what that, how to plot those terms in using decibels, which is 20 log 10. So let's start with this term. 1 plus j f over f1. Okay, so the first thing that we do is we are going to put it in a magnitude plot. Okay, and we're looking at the asymptotes. Okay, so if frequency is small, we see that we get, so this is my a, then a is equal to 1, and then if f is large, a is equal to f over f1. Okay, so now we're taking 20 log 10 of a, which is going to be in the small case,
20 log 10 of 1 is equal to 0, and f large, we go 20 log 10 of f over f1, which is going to be 20 log 10 of f minus 20 log 10 of f1. So what does this look like? Is up to f1, we have a 0. And then after f1, it goes up by 20 dB per decade. Okay, so similarly, if we have a equals 1 plus f1 over f, now in this case, using the similar thing that we did before, Now in this case, when f is large, it goes to 1. And when f is small, that term goes, so when f is small, this term gets really big. And so it looks like this. Okay. So then, if we have these two terms, we can just keep adding these two terms together because when we do logs, everything adds. So let's look at some simple examples of this. So if I have the term of 1 over 1 plus jf over 100, then we start by looking at the term on the bottom. Okay, and so when f is small, it is 0, so this term looks like this. Okay, but it's on the bottom, so when I go a, d, b, this is going to be 0. Well, let's just do 20 log 10 of 1 minus 20 log 10 of f over f1. So you see that this is all negative, and so now this whole plot is 0, but then it's, it's negative, so it's going down. Okay? And this is at 100. Okay. So now we could just add in a bunch of terms. So now if I have this, So now I have two terms, okay? So I'm going to look at the two terms. So my first term is this. My second term is the other way. Okay, and then I'm going to add them all together, right? And this is if they're on the bottom. So now, I, since they're in log, I can just add everything together. And it looks like this. And I can just add a whole bunch of terms. And then if I have a constant term on the top, then that would just shift everything up. 